Welcome back to Living 808, ladies and gentlemen. Kira and Mikey were on your screens, which could only mean one thing. It's time for another edition of... Answer that? It's not mine. Hello, Matt. Sorry, who is this? There is a bomb under your seat. If you. Do I have your attention? While driving with his two kids, Matt receives a phone call from an unknown assailant who claims there's a bomb in his car. Now, unable to exit his vehicle, Matt must now follow a series of twisted instructions while trying to figure out how to survive. Okay, when I tell you I was at the edge of my seat, sis, I really was at the edge of my seat the whole time. Now, I want to ask you, what are some of your tips for our viewers when watching Retribution, and would you recommend this film? You know, I just have to comment that Liam Neeson just turned 71 years old, and my tip is, whatever his regimen is do he's doing, we all need to get on board because he's still got it he's had a string of successful and some not so successful successful action films where he's shooting guns he's getting down and dirty and fighting in some hand-to-hand -hand combat and if that's the neeson that you're expecting to see sorry guys in retribution if you've seen the trailer he's pretty much glued to his seat for most of the film but don't let that deter you. This is a solid action thriller from director Nimrod Antal. He did a great job, and it's a lot of fun. My one comment is the plot does feel a lot like 1994's Speed starring mm -hmm. Keanu Reeves. Mm -hmm. Change mm -hmm. up the bus for a car, L.A. for Berlin. That being said, if you want to get away, go to the theater and spend 90 minutes to be entertained Buy a ticket. Go ahead, watch this popcorn action movie. I enjoyed it. What did you think, Mikey? You know, I really liked it. And if you guys like suspense and a little bit of mystery, then I definitely would recommend Retribution for you and your family. Now, personally, my family and I like Liam Neeson and we're huge fans of his Taken franchise. So this movie was such a home run for us as Retribution is very similar to those films. Don't you think, Kira? A little bit, oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, now something I do want to know is that if you are thinking about bringing your kids, I think, I personally think that this movie is fine even if it is rated R. Now, there's no gore. There are a few swear words, but nothing too jaw-dropping. So in all in all, I do recommend this movie. But if you want to see a Liam Neeson play a different role than what he's used to, then maybe this movie's not for you. Don't you agree? I agree. Yeah. Um, okay, Kira, if anybody wanted to learn more information about you, you know, all of the upcoming projects that you're working on, or maybe if they want to share their thoughts, what's a good social media account for them to follow? Oh, you can slide into my DMs at Kira Lynn, K-I-Y-R-A-L-Y-N-N. Perfect. Okay, so we saw, we talked Barbie, we talked Retribution. I know you really liked Barbie and you really like Retribution. Out of the two, yes. which one is your favorite? Barbie hands down. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm a pink Ryan Gosling type of a girl. I love Liam, but you know, I gotta go with the goss. There you go, <laughs> there you go. All right, you guys, well, that was today's edition of... Spoiler, Spoiler alert. alert! Thank you so much, Kara. <laughs> you guys will have more information on ktrend2.com in case you wanna reach out to Kara about your thoughts on retribution. Thank you so much, sis. Bye, guys. All right, everybody, coming up, we are kicking off your Labor Day weekend